Hello, space cowboys. Do you want to be real cowboys, or do you want me to keep calling you that, but I'm really meaning it? I think today is the day that you earn the title Space Cowboy. How are we going to earn that? We're going to go on an assassination mission together. Yes, you and me and the trusty computer of mine are going to go on an assassination mission. One of those very, very, very expensive ones where you get a thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions and billions of credits as a reward. And we're going to do it in an ASP. I assume that you have an ASP at this point, because if you have anything cheaper than an ASP, then you shouldn't be watching this video. An eagle will never ever be able to do an assassination mission. And if it does, I want to see the video and I will give you lots of internet points. Okay? But an eagle, a viper, no, forget it. It's not going to work. Your assassination missions are basically against elite big ships like anacondas. Remember, anaconda is the most expensive ship in the game. And elite is the highest rank of combat in the game. So an elite anaconda is... Is is not someone you want to come across um, in anything less than a very very well kitted out asp, and you have to be skilled as well. So that's why I'm making a video because if you could just you know throw loads of money at it and come up with a ship that could take them out in one shot, then there wouldn't be a need for a video, would there? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to outfit an asp. Um, if you haven't got an asp but you've got something better, then you can use it as a rough guide. Um, but yeah, I assume that an ASP is the cheapest ship that you can do this in, so let's go. I have come to a place called Nine Seti, um, and it's only got one station called Fanning Vision to outfit my ASP. I have just recently come back from a long exploration trip to the roof of the galaxy, and there's a video about that coming out, well, it should be out already actually, by the time this video is out, um, and you should watch that. Computer, did you have fun? If fun means having my audio processor grated like nails on a chalkboard with your constant singing, then yes, I had lots of fun. Okay, lots very... And lots and lots and lots and lots <sighs> of fun. Thank you, computer. As usual, you've done me a great service in front of my viewers. Okay, so, things we've just been exploring, we are basically naked. Look, no shields. Um, yeah, basically nothing, no weapons, so... This place called Nine Seti is actually a really, really great place for um, for outfitting an ASP. It has everything, absolutely everything. So we are going to upgrade everything to the right level levels for combat. Okay? Are you scared? You should be. You're going to fight an elite anaconda with a ship that's going to have an insurance value of about 1.5 million. So first things first. You might need a heatsink launcher. We're not going to start there. We're going to start with a power plant. You want the very, very, very best power plant. So let's buy that. Because we are going to literally put the power to the absolute limits. You want the best thrusters. As you can see, they sell them here as well. Another 5 million. Yeah, it's going to be expensive. Just letting you know that. Um, you don't need D life support. Um, and you do need power. So take that down to E. Um, the frame shift drive. It doesn't matter, it's going to be disabled. They're hard to find, I keep it A5 if you already have it as A5. Power distributor, you want absolutely the max as well. A4, yep. Um, sensors, again, down to E. Okay, that's okay. Um, you don't need a fuel scoop, so I'm going to sell that. What you do need is the most expensive shield you can afford. So I'm going to sort by price ascending. That means shield generated A6. Okay, 15 million, I can't afford that. So I'm going to go for the B. B6 shield generator uses a lot of power, which is again why we need an A5 power thingy me bob. And we also want, I hope they sell them here, a beef, an A5 shield cell bank. There we go. You're going to need that, trust me. Okay, everything else doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to leave mine as they are. Um, okay, as for weapons, okay, so for the utility mounts, you want three A0 shield boosters not cheap use a lot of power but yes you wanna you want at least three okay like thusly okay and now for weapons now this is purely up to you you can either have four small kinetic and two medium um, thermal or you can do it the other way around four small thermal and three medium kinetic two medium kinetic sorry um, I am going to see what I can afford and what they sell here. So they sell beam lasers, everything gimbaled by the way, everything gimbaled. Um, 
Ah, they have the E1. Ca oh, it's E1. This is not good. But I'm going to buy, while I'm here, four E1 cannons. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, for now, I'm just going to put um, a beam laser. Oh, they do have D2. What? I'm stupid. I am very stupid. Obviously, they're not going to show the class 2s when you're looking at the class 1 slot. Okay, so I'm going to put in two D2 beam lasers. Alright, we've probably gone quite a lot over power. That is not good. That is not good at all. Let's take a look at our power. Ooh, dearie me. Yeah, that is not going to work. So, um, one, one, two, 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 two. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually, something much more sensible in my case. Firstly, I'm going to sell that. Does that help? Not enough. You want to get that down to about 2.5, 21.5, sorry. So, a shield booster will have to go. Yes, we're going to have to take a risk. And in its place, I'm going to put the cheapest kill warrant scanner. Oh. Cheapest kill warrant scanner is the E. Okay, that's going to get us some additional... Um, Alright, what about shield booster? What, what what can we get? So what's the smallest shield booster we can get? D What about C? Alright, we're gonna try a C. I think that should work. Okay, now we're fully kitted out. We're ready to take on. It's gonna it's cost us a lot. And the rebuy cost is now 1.6 million. You get the picture, this is not for the faint of heart. You were going to earn your cowboy status, guys. Ooh, action! Ready? Boom! Don't know what he did. <gasps> There's more action! Ah okay, we want to get out of here. These guys are getting a bit tough for my liking. Okay. The next stage of this is to work out where to go. So, we've got three places where we can find the beginning part of the assassination mission. Right, the beginning part. Okay, I'm going back to IFE because it's only two jumps from here. And that is where I got the mission from and why I eventually intend to hand it in, although it doesn't really make a difference. So, IFE it is. I'll see you there. Okay, we're in one of the three name systems of the assassination mission. In this case, it's Ayethi. Um, and our next goal now is to drop into unidentified signal sources, or USSs, as they are colloquially referred to as. Um, and we are going to see what happens. Um, I'm going to give you a quick trick on how to do that. The first part of the trick is to firstly be near some kind of station or stellar object, because they seem to appear more often around those. And the second part of the trick, so I'm going to stop around here, the second part of the trick is to slow down. Um, you want to go at a speed less than one kilometer, one thousand kilometers per second, one me megameter per second, because then when they do appear on your scanner, you'll be able to immediately lock onto them and drop out. So now you just basically wear away at your neck, which you don't really need anyway, waiting for them to appear, lock on and drop out like thusly now very important very very important get your weapons out immediately because okay didn't happen this time but basically you are going to run into someone who's going to try and offer you an alternate path you're going to say something along the lines of you're looking for this guy it's a bad idea yeah you're basically going to be real cowboys it's going to be lots and lots of fun um, and what you need to do is make sure he does not give you the alternate path. Not if you're in anything under at least version 1.207. Because it will bug the mission and you will not be able to complete it. Which is not good. Okay, did you get that? I'll show you because it's probably going to happen. Um, but yeah, that was the wrong USS. Nothing happened. So we're going to try again. This is the most boring part of the game. 
perfect time to natter away with your computer. Computer? Make me laugh. What do you call the security guards outside of Samsung? Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> That's actually pretty good, computer. That's actually pretty good. Okay, let's wait for the next one. Weapons out. Lock on. Alright, let's see what he says. Okay, this is okay. He's going to tell you where Abraham Penn actually is. Right, I'm going to recap one more time. Very important piece of information. If the guy in the USS starts saying something along the lines of, I hear you're looking for this guy and you don't want to mess with him, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to offer you an alternative option. You want to shoot him before he finishes his third sentence, or even his second sentence if you're fast enough. You want to shoot him and prevent him from saying that sentence, because once he says it, your mission gets updated with an alternate path. And once that happens, the mission is bugged. The only option you have is to abandon it, which means massive reputation loss. Okay, now that we have the location of Abraham Penn, I'm going to go and stuck up. I'm going to ref, ref, re, um, refuel and rearm and repair if necessary. Yes, I need to repair. Um, and then we are going to proceed to assassinate him in the next video. So, stay tuned. For, and it should be out the same day, a video where I destroy an elite anaconda, Abraham Penn. So long, Space Cowboys to be...